Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Check the link down below because the first 1,000 grains will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Hey Greens, welcome to another unboxing. Today I wanted to do a different kind of unboxing instead of mail. I wanted to do these things over here. I've had them forever. I always told myself I'm only gonna open it when it's on camera so we can share it together. But, 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 I didn't. And they're just boxes sitting in my closet, forever unopened. That's the kind of commitment I have. So today we're going to go ahead and open these little boxes from Pop Mart. For those of you who don't know, Pop Mart is not sponsored, not affiliated in any way whatsoever. They make some of the cutest vinyl figures ever. And I got addicted to getting these things since I was in Japan because they have beautiful monsters and creatures and whatnots. Why are my glasses dirty? Hang on, let's just do a little cleaning because it's, it's all fuzzy and things. I can only see in 2D. Let me get a good look at you. There you are. But full disclosure, yes, these here specifically were sent to me by Pop Mart themselves, I think over a year ago, something like that. Are there any figures that you like getting or miniatures? There's this one miniature that I absolutely want to get and it is the Family Mart or I think convenience store miniature collection in Japan, but I could not get my hands on it while I was there and I am so sad that I couldn't get them. Also, when I was in Japan, one of you grains, I'm gonna name you, Sam, is a terrible person to go shop with because she make, makes me just buy them. <laughs> We had a lot of fun, so when I bump into you grains, I just absolutely love getting to know you. But Sam made me buy quite a few of these back then. So let me know what kind of figures do you like collecting? Because in addition to these, I also love anime figures. I mean, for, for obvious reasons in my background. All right, let's do the doing and let's do the opening. So I basically picked up two of uh, each, but not really two of each, because I have more collections. But the ones I really wanted to open today were Carnival Monsters. I'm feeling especially spoopy. And they have these cute figurines. I don't know, I'm very much so in a monster mood. Let's see if we can get the secret one, which I have no idea what it is. And then we have the Balloon Land. And I did customize one of them on my main channel. It was super cute absolutely adorable and then I turned it into a creature of darkness so the idea is that these characters are basically in the shape of different types of fruits and they come with a companion also there's another secret let's see if we can get that one and last but not least we can't go uh, one video without loving cats <laughs> this one is called VB cat lazily sitting set this is basically just a cat sitting on its bum in different positions again there's always that secret one so we'll look at these more closely as we're unboxing them. But let's go ahead with the Carnival Monsters. More specifically, I am going to say that I am okay with Death Vampire Load. Yeah, Science Eccentric is pretty cute too. You know what? They're all really cute. The only one that is meh is kind of a ghost, but you know, I really want any of them to be honest. They're just absolutely adorable. Let's see what we get. I absolutely love everything about the quality when it comes to these figurines. We're not going to look at the card because the card has the spoiler, so we're just going to put it aside. Anything but the ghost. Is that cloth? No, it's not cloth. Or No, it's not. Okay, hang on. And, oh, the scarecrow. It has a little crow. Is there anything in there? No, okay. I love the tiny scarecrow right there. That is cute. I thought I saw it came with some kind of accessories. Where are they? Okay, there they are. I guess that's the stand. Hey, that is cool. And here it is with the stand. Does it stand on its own? Yes, very stable. Let's go, next one. Again, anything but the ghosts. Again, let's not look at the card, make sure we don't see it. And, oh, we have death. Oh my God. So cute! Oh, I love the eyes! Absolutely adorable! Oh my god, okay, nothing in here. And we should technically look at the cards because the cards are part of the charm and they are collectibles. I love the art on this one. Here's our little scarecrow. Very nice. And he is adorable. He comes with these little sight. I think that's, that's how we say it. Voila. Okay, hang on. We're gonna get it. We are gonna get it. Okay, pushed here and pushed there. Oh my God, it's adorable. 
Oh, I love him! And the shoes. Oh, we can see the details of the feet. That's cute. I'm really happy with this one. <laughs> Let's go for milk carton balloon thing. <laughs> Those little milk carton fruity type characters. I think they're called Lala? Bobo, Bobo, that's the word I was looking for. So we have options of different fruits. We have grape, we have peach, which is very subtle. We have pineapple, mango, blueberry, mangosteen, I already got this one, and this is the one I customized. We have citrus red pen. Oh, I would love this one. Lemon bee, cherry fawn, pomegranate bunny, banana. I love the banana. So I would be really happy if I got the citrus red panda and the banana, but I have no idea what the secret is. So I would settle also for the secret one. I love how they open like little cartons. They remind me when I was a kid. At school, they gave us milk every morning. I don't know if they still do that in school, but yeah, we, we used to get milk. We'll make sure we don't look at the card. No card, no card. Okay. And what's your guess? Also, let me know which one would you have wanted. It feels really big. Well, that's the companion. Let's not look. And we get... <gasps> oh my... Oh my god! We got it! We got the citrus red panda! Holy carp! Oh my god! When it comes to these things, oh my god. When it comes to these things, like unboxing, more often than not, I'm lucky. And if I'm not lucky, then I'm extremely unlucky. If I say I don't want a specific one, I'll actually end up getting the one I don't really want. But if I say I don't care, but I really love these ones, I'll end up getting the ones I really like, so I think I'm, I'm a little lucky in that sense. Oh my god, hang on, let's open this. And here's the companion. It is adorable. I love everything about this. The colors, the face, the ears, the expression. These bobos have the same expression, but it is adorable. Look at this. It's an orange, and we even have that tiny leaf. Look at that. And it has those little red panda ears. I think they're supposed to be brown or black on there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's put a picture of a red panda on the side. Not sure if the ears have anything going on, but it is adorable. Super, super cute. And if we look also at the balloons, they technically match as well the characters. So as you can see, red panda has red panda ears. If it's a bunny, it has little floppy ears and so on and so forth. But I have to say, I am really happy with this. This is the one I wanted. It's just so cute. They make really cute decorations. Actually, I'm curious if they fit into the graveyard loon gift of character display. Let's check real quick. Don't mind that it is dusty it's under my desk until I figure out to decorate it but unfortunately no this does not fit what about my other characters no they're a little too big the companion does fit but not the actual main characters and this here is the card for the character let's see if we're lucky enough to get the banana or mystery on the second one <laughs> I'm so curious if there's one I really don't want, let's let's go that route. I usually love Peach, but I find this character a little plain, even though the, the leaves are cute. Oh no. I'm trying to say I don't want one, but I find them cute. All of them. Let's just say Peach, but I, again, I'm, I'm kind of lying because I find them all absolutely adorable. Eh. This is really big too. But then again, it could just be the companion that's taking up so much space. And we have... Hang on, let's not look. No! <laughs> oh my god! We got the two that I wanted! That's adorable! I mean, <clears throat> that is cute. <laughs> that is so cute! Oh no! And the companion! Hang on, let's open this because it has like the banana top right here. Here it is, look at that. We have a banana right on top. The facial expression is okay, very plain compared to the other one where it had a winky face. So I guess it's okay. But both of these characters have the same facial expression. Oh my God, it is adorable. Oh, I'm so happy I got the two that I wanted. That's awesome. Oh my God. Okay, I keep saying, oh my God, but look at this. Look at the slippers. There's actual little slippers, bunny ear things. This one is just plain black slippers. Well, boots. And then here we have the cute little, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm happy. 
I'm not going to complain. Well, the only complaint I have is this looks like a balloon instead of a banana tip. So that's the only thing I would fix is maybe make it a little more rounded as opposed to balloony. Unless that was done on purpose. But then again, we don't have balloony anywhere on that one. And this here is the card. They're cute. I mean, you keep them as collectibles. I have them. I don't know why, but I have them. And now we have the VV cat, which is a cat sitting lazily in different positions. So we have the hover ship flower, which I guess is kind of like a little couch. We have a baseball mitt. We have the Zen. I like that. <laughs> Food bowl. Express, I think I already got this one. We have the watch TV. We got the peanuts and we have the claws, clothes closes closes to I don't know what this word is trying to say closes tool close stool. I think this is a toilet, but I guess we'll see. And then there's a secret one. This looks like a couch, but I guess we'll see. So the one I really, really want is the Zen. And the one I really don't care for is going to be the hover ship. Those are the two. Otherwise, the rest I'm kind of impartial to, so I really don't mind getting either or. Oh, look, there's a tab here. <laughs> I'm going to have to try and open it from there next time. Avoid the card. Well, that is huge. By the way, let me know which one you would want as well. And we get the toilet! <laughs> oh, see, I knew it was a toilet. I love this one. So I thought it would just be this part here, but the fact that it's the entire toilet makes it that much better. Hang on, let's get a darker background. And now we can see it properly now. <laughs> That's my favorite. I like that. So... The quality of the plastic is pretty thick. It doesn't feel flimsy or gross, but you can tell that this is hollow. But this is cute. This, I like this. I like this a lot. Let's go ahead and hope for the secret and let's see if we can open it properly this time. I always find these things not easy to open. See, I'm having a... Okay, so it works. Eh. Eh. I find my way <laughs> probably easier because I'm so used to it by now. And what do we get? Is that the hoverboard? Yeah. So I got the one that I thought was really cute. I really would have wanted this one, but because I wasn't sure about the toilet, I'm actually much happier that I got the toilet one over the bowl and the one I really don't care for, which is the hoverboard. I mean, it just seems like a, a cat bed or I guess a floaty in a swimming pool, but I do love the pose though. The pose is everything. <laughs> The expression on the cat's face. I think they're the same expression. I can't tell because this one's hidden with the tail. But yeah, that's cute. I like it. This is still my favorite. This one I'm still meh about. I just really like the pose. Look at that. So fabulous. And here are the cards for both characters. I think I've said this previously, but I really wish that these cards were not just pictures, but instead were illustrations of this actual thing. So it would have been nice to see the cat on, you know, the toilet, but in its character, car caricature type form, is what I'm saying. Because otherwise, I mean, mm, these cards are very meh. So, mm, not my thing. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we're sponsored by Skillshare, who are huge supporters both on my main channel and the vlog channel. For those of you who don't know Skillshare, they are an amazing online learning community where thousands of creatives and curious people like you and I go to discover a new passion or to develop an already existing one. So whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you will find something that will definitely tickle your fancies. And they have classes that range from so many topics, like crafting, acrylic pours, all the way to productivity. This month, I've been extremely obsessed with branding. And so Hamza Khan's Do Things Tell People the Power of Personal Branding is a course I am super into. I love the idea of storytelling and branding coming together. Skillshare is curated specifically for learners, which means you're not going to get distracted by any kind of ad. And they're constantly launching new premium classes. And with less than $10 a month with an annual membership, Skillshare is a membership with meaning. The community on Skillshare is so wonderful because you get encouragement and and inspiration and a lot of needed communication when you're creative. So it's an environment where you will definitely feel empowered. And one of the features that I absolutely adore is the live classes. So you can experience real-time learning with popular teachers while watching and working alongside other creatives. So check the link down below because the first 1,000 grains will get a free trial membership of Skillshare Premium. That way you can have fun exploring your creativity at no risk whatsoever. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Video. Let me know which one of these is your favorite. I have so many more to open, so I think it'll be a fun change once in a while to open these with you. Maybe even on live stream. That could be fun. We'll work on that. If you want to watch more unboxings, make sure you check up here. I'll see you guys in the next video.